tension is still high in Abia region, an area located at the border between northern and southern Sudan. Over 30 people are said to have been killed following an eruption of conflict between the Miseria, who are nomadic herders from the north, and the Dinkangok, who are southerners. The southerners say the attacks were instigated by militiamen from the north who acted in conjunction with the military personnel from the Khartoum government. To them, the attacks are an act of provocation to disrupt the ongoing referendum in 10 states of southern Sudan. Thousands of southern Sudanese have been fleeing the northern region for fear of attacks by the Khartoum government as it braces for a likely cessation by the southerners. Their arrival in RBA has triggered a near humanitarian crisis. However, RBA region remains a poor region with no basic amenities such as water, roads and even communication facilities. The referendum exercise being held in 10 states of southern Sudan is not being held in RBA. The Khartoum government has refused to let go the oil-rich region, while the southern Sudan government has vowed to seize control of the region that was administratively placed in the northern Sudan government through a decree. The long queues of hunger-stricken residents of RBA region clearly denotes the poverty levels in this area, and this is despite the huge oil resources that are found here. And this is one of the reasons why they've been pushing for cessation. But they will have to wait a little bit longer before the southern and northern governments determine who will retain the control of this oil-rich region. Francis Gashori, Citizen Live at 9, in RBA region, at the border of northern and southern Sudan.